Hi, Pam Dubois with DMV Real Estate. So happy and grateful that you're able to join us today. I have my, as my special guest speaker, Wayne from Six McLean and Associates. And Wayne's mm -hmm. going to talk to us about appraisals and the appraisal process. And I guess, first of all, Wayne, would you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been in the business? Uh, this is my 39th year of being an appraiser. It's all okay. I've really done since college. We have seven appraisers and two full-time secretaries that have been with us a long time. And... We'll do about 2,200 appraisals here in Frederick County wow. this year. Wow, so that's that's a lot. Yeah, that's do, a lot. Yeah, we do a lot of farms and apartment buildings, and, but we, I don't do commercial or industrial. No just, commercial. No, just mostly houses, farms, land, that type of thing. Okay. What are you seeing as far as what's going on with the appraisal market right now as far as the contract sales price and, and the appraised value of the properties? Are you seeing a Well, lot we're of seeing some appreciation on the, on the, on the, in, in certain ranges. Uh, we're in what we what I call a split market. Okay. Um, five hundred and under, the houses are going up in value. Once you get over five hundred, it's about as flat as this table. The okay. problem the problem has been on the high end, has been um, a lot of the big employers have pulled out of Maryland. Bechtel. Okay. Bechtel left down here. State Farm. I don't know what State Farm's going to do with that building over there. It's a, oh, wow. A monster building over here. It's yeah. only like 20% occupied. They're moving everybody to Charlottesville or uh, down to Florida. We're doing a lot of State Farm reloads. So okay. we don't have all those Bechtel people coming in that need seven and $800,000 houses and all the right. State Farm people. They're not coming in anymore. So wow. that's really hurt the high end. But the... Houses under like four hundred or something. They're flying off fast. the market. Yeah, they are. Right. Yeah, they really right. are. Yeah, they're doing they're doing very well. And then like four hundred to five hundred. We've been seeing around four percent of appreciation since the market turned. The market was flat mm -hmm. from to the end of two thousand ten to the end of fourteen. For four years the market was very flat. And at the end of fourteen, now we've been seeing it come up about four percent a year. So oh, okay. we're Sounds starting pretty to, good. Yeah, we're yeah. starting to make up some of that gain that we lost because the market Before. dropped about thirty five percent from the peak in June of 05. The market here dropped about thirty five percent. So yeah. now we've made up about twenty five percent of it. So we're well that's we're filling good. the yeah, bucket yeah. we're filling well, the bucket yeah, back up. It's good. not filled yet, but uh there's still a number of people if you go out to list a house yeah. and they bought it in like uh oh seven, oh eight, mm -hmm. they're still Gonna be upside down probably. Right, and, right. But, but, but it's good. getting, it's getting, it's getting better. It's getting better. A little so. bit how the market yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. So we're seeing competitive bids, seeing uh, multiple offers, and um, sometimes they don't appraise because the realtors just jack the price up. You know, you got Too three high. people wanting it. You know, right, <laughs> and right. And they just jack the price That's and add all the closing point. on top and everything else. It's like uh, <laughs> we don't have any sales to support that. So um, yeah. So what happens? You, in kind, you can kind of go up one step, but you can't jump the whole flight of stairs all at the one way time. Up, yeah, right. it's not yeah. gonna happen. Yeah, I yeah. remember I had one property that I think that we had like ten offers on it, and we had nothing to support. Right. The yes. Value, it's, so it's, it didn't, it's, yeah. it's 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 we. Uh, we have a lot of good appraisers here in Frederick, and, and you need to know that the prices are going up. We make time adjustments, so it's going up. So it's, oh, so you do make adjustments? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, we're not Santa Claus. Santa yeah. comes in December, <laughs> and it's April, so you know, it's not. Right. We're not going to give it. Just give you whatever number the number is. Right, uh, right. But makes uh, sense. You got to be able to support it and yeah. document it. But uh, yeah, things are good right now. Things are good right now. I can tell you, um, right now we have a thousand seventeen homes for sale which is a little bit of an undersupply. Okay, yeah. It should really be about 12, 1250 would be Low a little inventory. more normal. So right yeah. now, it's tilted a little towards the seller because okay. a lot of people want to buy, and so it's kind of a little bit of a seller's market. Work. Now, that number was 820 about okay. 45 days ago, and that number's going to go probably to 1250. So it's yeah. going, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's yeah, going up. Well, hit. everybody yeah. waits to when the flowers are blooming and everything else to put their right. house up the for sale. The spring market so, is hit, yeah. Yeah. It's taken a while to... To go up, though, because so many homes are going under contract so quickly. Last week, 123 went under contract. That's 13% of inventory went under contract in one week. I mean, at that rate, in nine weeks, if, no, if nothing new came on the market in nine weeks, <laughs> all the inventory would be gone. It's gone. Because you're selling, yeah. you're selling a, uh, what did I say, 127, 123. Properties. And you only got 1,000, so... You'd be sold out, although okay. that's not, realistically that's not going to happen because right. there's a lot of overpriced houses and a lot of them aren't neutral. If your house isn't neutral, yeah, the overpriced ones. They just, they just. I did a house. I did a house yesterday, and it's 
It's, you know, it's just it looks like grandma's house. It's got all those borders around the room. And <laughs> no and different colors. Anything, and every yeah. carpet in every room's a different color. Yeah. And, you know, they're going to, they need to make some changes there. Or that house just isn't going to sell. Okay. It's going to sell cheap. Okay. And the buyer's going to make all the changes. So okay. House has to be in good condition to sell. Right. Yeah. That's one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about as far as like, you know, a lot of times um, you hear that um, sellers will say, well, you know what, let the buyers come in and make their own choices as far as the paint and carpet. They can make, choose their own carpet and mm -hmm. they can choose their own that, paint. That's fine. Basically. Adjust your price. Yeah. The thing is, if you fix it up and make it look good, it'll sell quicker too. It won't be on the market. Right. It won't stay. And yeah, Kitchen you know, and baths are the most really important. Right. Updating the kitchen, kitchen and, and the bathrooms as far as yeah, putting money in there. That's the two biggies right there. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what are you seeing as as far as, okay, the one big question I had for you is, mm -hmm. um, let's say the HVAC system in the home is 20 years old, okay, okay. and mm -hmm. a seller basically says, okay, I'm going to go ahead and replace the HVAC system, mm -hmm. and they were like, okay, that's going to, you know, bring us maybe another $5,000 or something like that. It might cost eight and they'll get five. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. it's not going to get dollar for dollar, but it's going to make it sell a lot quicker. Right. And buyers look at a house and they look at the roof. And they look at the electric and the plumbing, and they see how yeah. worn out everything is. And if a house is like a car that's just been run to death, they're going to realize, man, I'm going to have to drop some bucks in right. this place soon. Right. So they take that into account in their price. Whereas inversely, if a house is all fixed up and if you know re-updated the kitchens and baths and electric, and it's all looking good in the roof right. and the siding and it's looking it's good, they're like, oh man, I can live here and not have to spend too much. They feel. Yeah. much better about it and are willing to pay a little extra. A little extra for sure, it, right. Sure. And the same thing, I guess, basically with the roof, I mean, because that's a maintenance thing, you know, as far as that yeah, should be the rates. Yeah. It's like putting new tires on your car and then selling your car. I mean, you're not going to get all the money back on the tires, but it's certainly going to help it to sell and bring, to a, sell little, quickly, bring a little right, better right. price. Yeah, sure, right, sure. Right. So. Makes sense, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, finished basement, normally, mm -hmm. I, mean, I know that gives more more value to the home. What do you oh, think sure. as far as thoughts? Mm -hmm. Well, typically for a basement, you, it's usually somewhere around 20 bucks a foot uh, okay. for a basement finish. And then it would okay. be a lump sum adjustment for a bath. So let's say you had a 2,000 square foot colonial house with a 1,000 square foot basement. Mm -hmm. And let's say you finished an 800 square foot club room okay. in the basement. That would be about twenty dollars a foot. So two weeks, it's that would be about sixteen thousand to finish it, and then okay. about maybe six thousand lump sum for a bath. So that'd be twenty-two grand to finish the okay. basement. Gives you a lot more square footage, and in yeah. some cases, some neighborhoods, it, it helps to sell your house better if you have a finished basement. If, now, sometimes we're like in these, we're like over fifty-five communities and mm -hmm. stuff. Um, with these over fifty-five communities, because then the builder doesn't have to pay the impact fee. You save the impact fee because. The old people don't oh, okay. put kids that's in good school. To know. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's so you save the impact fee, but then you're limiting. Your buyer has to be 55 and over. Yeah. And and those neighborhoods, a lot of times, finished basements not. They, that's not that big, but you know, that older people they don't want to get down the steps. Right. They, that's they, true. They just yeah, want them on one floor and yeah. be happy. They don't. It doesn't matter. If someone looking to buy. They're not that concerned. Right. But young family with kids and yeah. you know, put those kids down in the basement, let them go wild, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little different, right. The, right. you know, the the age, what age person yeah. you're dealing with is, and these millennials, I'll tell you one thing about these millennials, they like the house to be right. They don't want to, I don't know if they're lazy or too busy to work or what's wrong. They don't want to paint. They don't want. They don't want. They don't yeah, want to fix anything, anything up. They want right. that house to be perfect when they buy it. Right. You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just they walk pick in it to right. death. They yeah. try and pick. But you know you can't pick it to death like it right now because if some, another buyer will come in on you. Yeah. Yeah. You'll mm -hmm. lose it. Yeah. yeah. Multiple offer mm -hmm. situations basically. Mm -hmm. What about the stainless steel appliances? You know, a lot of people are like, you know, oh, we want a house with stainless steel appliances. You know. You know. Yeah. Stainless. I mean, that's the trend. And granite, yeah, granite right. countertops, countertops, stainless appliances. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that I mean, that's kind of what everybody wants. Right. right does it bring us any more value? Oh yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it I definitely. mean, granite's a lot more expensive than yeah, yeah. You have three types of countertops. You yeah. have Formica, which is the cheapest, and yeah. people don't like Formica. Then you have other solid surface, you know, Corian, different other types of solid surface they're good too yeah. but granite's kind of the the best the premier yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right now basically and, and stainless like, everybody likes the stainless appliances that's kind of a a trend or a fad or that's what people want and they're nice yeah that's what people want yeah yeah mm -hmm. and a garage 
How about well, the yeah, it depends yeah. on what price range you're in. Yeah, yeah. Well, everybody wants a garage. Yeah. yeah. And would you, uh, let's say, you know, a home with the garage, an extra twenty thousand dollars? How would you for a two car versus a no garage? Yeah. Well, it depends on the age and what okay. price range you're in. But in general, yeah, about ten thousand a bay would be a pretty good. Uh, okay, so about twenty thousand yeah, dollars. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you can think of that you know? That we're missing, I guess, basically, as far as um, well, here in Frederick County, have acre acreage is a big thing up yeah. here. A lot of people like to buy a place that farmland. has farmland and has yeah. acreage, and it's nice to have. Right. It's nice to have acreage and privacy, and right. you can sit out on your patio and not see anyone else. It's yeah. pretty nice. Yeah, you they're mentioned beautiful. earlier you do a lot of VAs. Mm -hmm. Tell oh, us about that. Nice. Yeah. Oh, they're good. VAs yeah. are good. I like doing VAs. And it's with the VA, basically, you're also doing, I guess. Um, more of an inspection when you're doing yeah same way FHA and FHA and, and, al yeah, and also yeah. the uh, the Maryland State programs too so okay all three of those programs now there the people put a small down payment mm -hmm. so right zero they, down on the they VA, have, right? well yeah they have minimum property standards that the house has to meet yeah I did a house this morning the the it needs to be graded it's mm -hmm. when the water rains really hard it runs down against the foundation yeah I'm gonna they're gonna have to bring in for it to get that loan they're gonna have to bring in a load of dirt. And instead of it sloping in this way towards the house, it's got to slope away from, from the, the house. house. Yeah, so right. you make them do that. It has an old rotten shed. I mean, that's just a, an eyesore. And if kids go out there and play or whatever, somebody get hurt, they got to take that shed down. I mean, right. It's, it's, yeah. So they have very specific lead paint and guidelines. very specific guidelines. Yeah, for the roof. Yeah. If the roof has less than two years, you have to put a new roof on. So. Really? Heck Would yeah. be I didn't know that. Heck yeah. I did not know that. That's well, a new thing to know you don't want to lend somebody no money down, and then they have nothing in the house, and then yeah. two years later it needs a roof, and they don't have the money to do the roof. Then, okay. then guess what? Foreclosure city. I mean, right. that's why they have guidelines. So that is, a, how about FHA? Same, Same thing way, two years. Two years. If it's less than two years, They life. need to put a new roof in the yeah. Oh my goodness! Okay, that's something new that we've learned today. Well, buyers yeah. going to recognize that too. Yeah, that, that, that's why people get home inspections. Home inspections are good. Yeah, tell you how old the furnace is. You know, tell you what. That way, you know how much you can anticipate how much money you're going to spend yeah. in the future, besides your mortgage payment. But with conventional, basically, you conventional is looser be, because yeah, in most cases you you're putting a minimum see. of ten percent down. So their guidelines are a little uh, more. Yeah, limited. and the lender doesn't even really see the um, home inspection report. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, conventional's a little more because yeah. there's less risk because you're putting money. Yeah, you, know, you got money in. You got skin in yeah. the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you get it out? I mean, do you only do Frederick County, or do you go any other areas? I've been doing some VAs over in Washington County. They needed some help over there, and occasionally I'll do. I did a relocation in care over in the Carroll County line, but mostly Frederick County. Everything in Frederick County. Try to. I mean, okay. I've got plenty of work right here. Okay. And I actually got more work than we can even handle right now. Really? I probably turned down, I know, two or three jobs the today. Spir the spring market is hit. Yeah, oh, it is. Awesome. It yeah. is. Yeah, we don't have to turn work down very often, but right now yeah. it's just, it's nuts. It's good. Everybody, yeah. you know, every spring market, everybody waits till spring to put their house on and it's things are hopping. Yeah. It's rocking and rolling. Things are things are pretty good. Okay. I, I don't want to see it like it was back in 01, though, when I it was know. crazy. Prices went up 20% a year. Yeah, I went For four yeah. years, I mean, people's income didn't go up 80% in four years. And yeah, we don't have that many properties for that no. to happen, right? No, we don't. Yeah, Inventory's just... pretty low right now. Yeah. And, and, it's, and one thing of interest, I already, I haven't looked at the numbers, but I already know what they're going to say. It takes three times as long to sell in Frederick County. It takes three times as long to sell a $700,000 house as it does a $350,000 house. Oh, wow. Because okay. there aren't as many buyers. The 350s, they come range. on, they're nice, yeah. man, they get piled on. Yeah. But you get up in that up in that 700, it's a little slow, so it takes three times. I don't sell real estate, but if I did, I'd rather have two $350,000 houses than one 700,000. Because when they get, so, as they get bigger, yeah. fewer and fewer showings, and the buyers get pickier and pickier. Well, see, and you get that down in Montgomery County, you know, seven hundred thousand dollars. Well, down there, it's, like that, right, 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 right. It's yeah. all relative. Multiple yeah. offers, right, right, right. right. Yeah. So it's all relative. And to you know, my area. son lives in my son and I have a place in DC and yeah. in Cleveland Park. And shoot, oh, man, that's he, a great. You area. can't buy anything down there for less than nine. You can, yeah, you know, shacks nine hundred thousand down yeah. there. Yeah, Cleveland mean, Park is a nice area. Yeah, definitely. yeah, yeah. Van Ness area. That's very nice, yeah. but housing is so expensive down there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. The more you go so, down. All relates to where you live and driving time and that type of thing. Right, location, location. Even location, here, you start going north and west, the prices really get cheap. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep going out. Yeah. yeah. 
Well, I thank you so much for being with us. You oh, know, yeah, today, no any other add-ons that you'd like to add? I think it's a good time to buy a house. I'm, I'm not like... Uh, promoting i'm not you, you didn't pay me or something to say <laughs> no, this or no, something. No. Um, yeah i would say that um i like graphs and okay. the market you know the market peaked in june of 05 yeah and then it dropped 35 percent and at mm -hmm. the end of 2010 it went flat for four years mm -hmm. so now we're starting that up market so it's so. a good time for this is like for like I told all my kids, I have three boys. I said, "Hold on, buy a house, buy." A house. They've all bought houses, yeah, and they've all experienced some appreciation. So it's a good time. Yeah, you don't want to buy. It's like buying a stock. You don't want to buy a stock at the peak and then have the, the damn the thing market. drop on you. Yeah, or and you don't want to buy it when it's flat and have it be worth the same thing five years later. Well, then what you paid now. So right. it's a good time to buy because we're starting up the we're starting up. The, and I don't see anything yeah. slowing it for a while. So yeah, it's so a do good it now time. before it goes up. Yeah, and, and here again, it's not a, I'm not giving you some sales pitch or something. Yeah. So I'm not yeah. trying to talk somebody into buying a house. Yeah. I'm just saying. It's well, it's a, always it's a, a great good, investment. It's, it's, I, I like, well, I like where estate. we are. And a nice, steady 4%. This is, oh, it's sweet. I like where we are right yeah. now. It's really good. It's nice for us. Things well, are good. I really like. It's a great time. Well, we went through the prices dropping and you know, <laughs> you know people want to refine their houses worth 20 grand less than what they paid and went we're through past a, that. yeah, yeah we went goodness. through that we went through the down market and we went through the flat market so now we're finally it's like now we're finally at uh you know what i mean yeah it's, I know it's what like you're it's like about, doing yeah. some kind of a job and you did yeah. all the crappy work now, <laughs> now we got the easy stuff now it's i like where we are yeah it's a good spot to be thank you so much wayne six for being with us today oh, you're welcome. we really appreciate your time and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Uh, please, if you look at us, please uh, touch the like button. Any comments, any questions that you have, we, we'd be more than happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much again for your time, and we'll talk to you soon.